Well, good morning, everyone. I'm here in the front yard and the Eden roses are in full bloom. So this is what happens when you don't trellis them. They gracefully fall over and create all these blooms. So part of me was kind of glad we didn't trellis them because there's tons of blooms all over them. But at the same time, probably would have been a lot <laughs> if they were trellised. But we are gonna have to eventually tie them back because they're they're covering a lot of stuff underneath them but look at that isn't it just amazing oh so pretty a waterfall of roses. That's really the only way I can describe it. When they first were starting to open up, they were a really intense bright pink and now they're starting to fade out. they start out and then they gradually open up this is one of my favorite roses when we were in France back in 2016 I saw this rose on a trellis um, outside of a carriage house we were staying in in the um, we were staying in the Loire Valley, Loire Valley, I think that's how you say it. And I fell in love and I knew it was Eden because this rose, you can pretty much spot this rose anywhere you go. But when I saw it in France, I was like, yep, I gotta have that. <laughs> so I ended up digging out what was here and we planted three along these trellises that we put up on the wall here. And they make it up quite, you know, they make it up pretty far. Um, but I think that, you know, they don't quite go all the way up top. So what I ended up doing is I bought three um, Clematis Montana Fragrant Spring from Brushwood and it's back there but I think it got swamped over by the uh, catmint so I think I'm gonna need to is it popping through back there there it is just a tad bit of leaf back there so what I'm hoping is that the Montana will climb up these and it'll stay there because you don't prune Clematis Montana. You leave it. So that way it'll always be there. And those, those blooms are actually pink as well. So I thought it would be a pretty um, combination to have pink on pink slash white with these blooms because these are kind of like pink and white blooms the way they work. This is just this is just pure rose heaven right here in my front walkway right now. I cannot get enough of these roses. They're so beautiful.
down in here, I've got Souvenir de la Malmaison planted with them. I am probably going to cut some of these this morning to take inside the house and enjoy inside. Here's the whole border. And I'm so glad that I ripped out those holly bushes because it's just really nice to have this little patch of color right next to it. It, it flows much better, I think. And the super tunias are doing great. As well as the agapanthus, my goodness. This agapanthus is a rock star in the garden. It just doesn't stop blooming. Come show you the blooms up here that are a little bit more in the shade and a little bit so you can see what it looks like when it's actually trellised when it's done the right way <laughs> you can see the blooms a lot better this way Well, that's it for this front border here. I'm gonna do another video to kind of break things up a bit of the rose garden here and then the Munstead wood and the Queen of Sweden roses over here looking amazing right now. So I'm gonna go check in on the kids, see how they're doing with their schoolwork and then come back out and do another segment. Y'all take care, bye-bye.